FIFA 23 could be renamed and called as EA Sports FC as EA is considering dropping the FIFA branding. Hello and welcome to RSVK InfoBeam. You are into the technology section where we are up with the latest technology news from the market. October 1, 2021, a week ago, FIFA 22 has been released and already has made a huge mark with 9.1 million users have started playing the game. Let's go through some of the key features the FIFA and the EA Sports has come through in the past 30 years. Before we get into it, let's watch the FIFA 22 trailer. FIFA 22 with heart and muscle. When I was a kid, EA Sports FIFA, that was a great thing and we used to be very crazy over playing those games way back in 1998. When EA Sports entered into the football market, they released the first version of FIFA way back in 1993, December 15. That is when where they entered into a contract with FIFA. So EA Sports and FIFA collaborated, they joined together. It was kind of a franchise kind of thing where they started releasing the games as FIFA 98, 99, 20, 2000. So, and, that's, and that contract was for 30 years, so which is coming to an end this year. So the last version of FIFA could be FIFA 22, but we don't know whether the contract would be extended or it's going to be end of that 30 years relationship. EA Sports entered into the market. The competitors were Tekken Word Up, Sensible Soccer, Kickoff, and Match Day. EA Sports, and that is when EA joined with FIFA and the first ever FIFA's official launch of a game came up in 1993 with EA Sports. Apart from the regular releases of the EA FIFA, EA Sports also releases and then additional versions like FIFA World Cup, UEFA Champions League, U UEFA Europe League, so on. And FIFA 12 was the fastest selling with 3.2 million sold, making an 186 million in the first week of its release. 2013 till 2016, Lionel Messi was the ambassador. His image was used in the FIFA. In FIFA 20, Eden Hazard was used. Now in FIFA 21, Kylian Mbappe is being used. The first mobile version of the EA Sports FIFA came up in 2016. Way back in 2016, there was a petition filed against FIFA that they have to start using the female players as well. So that is when the first time the female players were introduced in the EA Sports FIFA launch in 2015, September 25. And not to forget the unique voice, EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the How game. could one ever forget that voice? You know one cool thing? That voice was given by Andrew Anthony and he did it for free for the friendship. I hope this video would have been informative. Do download the official FIFA 22 and start enjoying, play the game and just drop your comments in the comments box. Until I catch you in another video, take care, bye bye, choose. EA Sports, it's in the game.